great senior day at Mount St. Mary's on Saturday afternoon as the Mount defeated Sacred Heart 9-8. Junior Andrew Scally led the team with two goals and four assists in the win, including a thrilling shot and goal at the buzzer of the third quarter. The Mount then held on at the end when a potential Sacred Heart game-tying shot at the buzzer went off the post. Throughout the first half of the game, the lead bounced back and forth between the two teams, including tying the game up at 1, 2, 3, and 4. Going into halftime, the Pioneers had the lead 5 to 4, but the Mountaineers took the second half by storm, scoring three consecutive goals to start the third quarter to hold a lead it would not relinquish for the rest of the game. Sophomore goalkeeper Chris Kleiber had nine saves on the day. Seniors Brian Schmidt and Dan Stranix contributed two goals each, while fellow seniors Anthony Golden and Brett Schmidt had one goal apiece. Senior Christian Kellett also had one goal and one assist in the win. Before the game, Mount St. Mary's honored its 12 seniors. So proud of these guys, you know. As we said, hey, you know, have the will today. We got 12 seniors that we're going to honor, and uh, you know, that's all I wanted uh, for them uh, to experience is, is a W on Senior Day, go out as uh, as champions. But you know, most of all, as a team, we really needed the will to win. You know, uh, out outwork them on certain uh, stats. And, you know, I think we played a hell of a game defensively. I'm really happy and proud of 12. He finally, you know, he finally had a great game, and we gave him some support offensively. We scored some goals to to give him a lead. You know, so great W. We're five four at halftime with them. Uh, certainly not uh, what I hoped. I hoped it'd be the other way around. But you know, again, it's uh, it, it's about how you finish. Heck of a, a third quarter. I think we outscored them five to two to take the lead. Um, and and that's that's a quarter. I think if you go through and look at the stats, that's a quarter that really uh, was uh, was 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 what do you say? Not a great quarter for us uh, throughout the uh, school year. It was it was um, you know our. Um, you know, we're very flat after halftime, so these guys really corrected that. And again, uh, you know, the talk uh, at halftime was about will, having a will to come out for 30 minutes and, and do the job. Uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a close game the whole entire game, pulled out in the third quarter, which was huge for us. Um, kind of got the momentum back in our hands. Um, lulled off a little bit in the fourth quarter, and it, it came down the wire. And uh, our defense stepped up big today and, and had a good stop at the end. Um, controversial call, but, you know, it's better lucky than good sometimes, and we pulled out with a win, keep our player for Hoops Alive. Yeah. Well, I think he has grown as, uh, as an attackman um, in terms of uh, possessing the ball for us, you know, captaining uh, the offense, you might say, or really uh, being patient, you know, looking for uh, certain things out there and, and pulling out and, and settling up when, uh, you know, you see something he doesn't like, and, and that's what we need. You know, the longer we possess the ball, the better it is for us on defense. I did. Um, that was just playing th uh, through the whistle. We did it every day in practice. Um, we don't stop playing until the whistle blows. Um, and I, Kelly did a great job drawing too, and I just stepped into a little hole and, and pulled it because I knew I had uh, a short clock. I think they were all playoff games, uh, you know, after uh, after our second loss in the conference to uh, to Bryant. Um, but, uh, you know, again, um, you know, you, you live to fight another day, and, and these kids, uh, they, they did it. They know what uh, the situation is, and, you know, got to take them up one at a time. Um, you know, again, I'm, uh, I'm more excited for them to have the opportunity to play Maryland on Wednesday before we get to Wagner on Saturday. We don't want to overlook anybody. I know that's going to be uh, one heck of a team. I think they're sitting number three in the country. Uh, they're probably going to be agitated after losing in the ACC uh, tournament ye uh, yesterday in the first round. Um, so, you know, again, uh, we got a great night set up for uh, Wednesday night here, and, and that's what I want them guys to focus on right now. Uh, we've, been, we've been saying every game is a playoff game for the past um, probably five games. Um, and so today, with a win, we did uh, increase our chances. So we got to take care of business against Wagner. And if we beat them, then then we're in, and uh, we're trying to extend the season a little further.